Well then boys and girls, we're uh, back out again today and uh, we're going to work our way across. There's a fair bit of spoil that's on top of this, but I can work my way through it eventually. And we'll go down a bit and we'll see what we can find, so uh, just come back to me when we get the next hit. Or the first hit even, as it were. <laughs> right back soon. Well, I've only been going 30 minutes, it's very very warm today. And the uh, sweat's lashing out of me. Well, there's the first thing. Oh, now yeah, well it's a broken egg cup. Oh well. Carry on. Well there we go, there's uh, what looks like a plain stoneware. So uh, we're on the right track here. I'll get this one out and uh, in fact I'll just see if it... Yeah, there we go, it just comes straight out. And that's not a bad... Uh. <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> There's one that's going back in the tip. <clears throat> All right, we'll carry on. There we go. There's a there's a clay marble just popped out there, and uh, this little pot lid with a a ram on it. You can see that guy? I'll maybe take this guy home and uh, we'll get him cleaned up. But, uh, but yeah, pretty cool. This is uh, it does have M dot S dot two five zero nine underneath it. Don't know what that means, maybe, maybe that's the maker or the pattern number. But anyway, we'll get that cleaned up and we'll have nosy at home. Alright, back soon. See out there, there's a, a stoneware bottle. Yeah. What are you doing, Dumpy want? Probably an ink of some description. Or something of that ilk. But, uh, no, hang on to that. Alright, back soon. Well, I've just pulled this out and I've no idea what it is. Let's have a look together. It's Harleen for the hair. Oh. I might hang on to that. Looks like it's still got its original stopper in. So, whether that's water in or not in there, I don't know, but we'll see if we can get that stopper out anyway. I guess that was something that. Uh, oh, there's another name on the side here. Yeah, Harleen for the hair. Cool. Alright, we'll crack on. Well, I'm just uh, scraping away here and I just got this little lady. If we can, uh, again, we'll maybe take her home and we'll get her cleaned up. Unfortunately, she's broken, but uh, I don't know. There you go. Little china figure. Alright, well, uh, I'll come back soon if I find anything else, as usual. Well, nothing spectacular today at the moment, but uh, there's a little dumpy uh, ink pot. Still got the cork in the top. Cool, we'll keep that. Nice little decorative things. Alright, back soon. Well, there we go, there's a bottle. Right, I shall uh, come back once I've dug this one out, if it's whole. And we'll see if there's anything on it. All right, hang tight, boys and girls. Well, there it is. Plain as the day it was made. <coughs> Nothing on it. Oh, well. I'll carry on. Well, uh, I'm calling it a day, guys. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely shattered, and uh, I've got a few other things going on at the minute, so, uh, so I'm just going to call it a day. I'm really not feeling it. It's one of those days where you just, uh, meh, you just feel like that. So, uh, so yeah, so there you go. I'll get these few bits washed up and uh, I'll come back to you. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Now then, boys and girls, 
uh, delivery man's just been. There's my uh, my parcel. I know what that is. That should be my metal detector. So uh, bear with me a moment, and I shall uh, open this up, and we'll have a look. Okay. Well, that's most of. Uh, there we go. go as you can see it's a Viking metal, metal detector and it's a, a Viking V6 so uh, let me get this box open we'll have a nosy well there we go that's it the Viking V6 <coughs> and uh, I purchased it from uh, Regton. So uh, I'll not show you the receipt because that's got my uh, address on it. <coughs> now, actually, by all accounts, going under this name on eBay as uh, Detector Distribution. That's the name they go by on there, as well as Regton Online as well. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. <coughs> Operating instructions for me to have a read. Let me uh, have a quick read of this and we'll see if we can get this put together. Alright, hang on. Well, I'm out at Rue here with the metal detector. Uh, there's the, uh, the wee lighthouse there. So uh, we'll give it a shot and we'll uh, we'll see what it can find. Alright, well, I'll come back to you when we find something. Right, I don't know whether you'll hear this or not, but let's see. So there's something there. I reckon it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let me dig and dig and I'll see if I can find it. Well, that's one of my first finds. Now, I will say, discrimination is set to zero at the minute, so that looks like an old uh, toothpaste tube of some description. Anyway, we'll carry on. Like I say, we're only trying it out first time, metal detecting, so let's see how we go. Right, well, I've just changed the discrimination there, I just changed, turned that to up two notches. Let's see what that is. Give me two minutes, see if I can find it. Well, to my reckoning, it's out now. It's in there somewhere. All right, hang on. Get in. There you go. Piece of tin can by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll carry on. It's taken some learning, but it's found that at. Uh, gosh, I maybe hazard a guess that was maybe six, eight inches down. Obviously, it's going to find something so big. But uh, yeah, we'll carry on. It's all good fun. Still nothing but junk. But uh, at the moment, I've got something in here. Let's just see if I can get this. Uh, so there's something there. What have we got in here now? Another piece of junk, no doubt. Like I say, yeah, there we go. I think that's uh, that's probably it. Looks like some melted uh, aluminium. Just double check that. Oh, I. Yeah, that's it. So that'll go in the pocket. We'll get rid of that off the beach. All right. We'll come back if we get anything else. Well, there we go. That's the uh, that's my first metal detecting trip, and uh, nothing more than I expected to get. To be perfectly honest with you, bottle cap, a bit of scrap brass, I think maybe, uh, maybe a foil cap. Uh, no idea what that is or was. Maybe off some sort of burner or heater or something. Um, that looks like a a rotor arm from a car to me and some other bits of scrap scrap metal so 
melted aluminium and a piece of scrap brass I think because it's green and a bit of scrap metal so oh well at least the detector works anyway and uh, first time we're using it so uh, so we've a lot to learn but uh, now we'll carry on and uh, we'll get some use out of it and make some more videos and see what we can find as we go along all right boys and girls well thanks for watching and come back soon see you in a bit bye bye